Mandela Barnes, the lieutenant governor of Wisconsin, was nominated to take on Ron Johnson. And what was interesting in that race was that in the weeks before the primary, a lot of uh, the Democrats who had been running dropped back and endorsed Mandela Barnes. So Barnes was expected to win. But what was striking was that even though many votes had already been cast early, so uh, people had already voted for some of the other candidates, and even though Barnes still had active opponents in the primary who were spending substantial amounts of money, uh, Barnes swept. He got 78 percent of the vote, which is an amazingly you know, large. So basically, four out of five votes went to Mandela Barnes, carried every county. Now, of course, he had these advantages of his major opponents dropping back. We accept that right up front. But what was notable was not only did he carry every county, but his percentages were at their best in predictable Democratic areas, but also in the rural counties of western Wisconsin, suggesting that you've got a Democratic candidate for the U.S. Senate who can actually get some traction in rural areas. So. All of that on one side. And the last thing I'll tell you is this fascinating bit of data out of the Republican side. Ron Johnson had no serious opponent in the Republican primary. There was a guy on the ballot against him, but that guy didn't even spend enough money to file a financial report. Um, <laughs> had no TV, nothing. He, was, he just wasn't, he wasn't even noted. Everybody just basically said, oh, well, you know, Ron Johnson's essentially unopposed. Well, the guy running against Ron Johnson got 110,000 votes and won, you know, almost uh, 17 percent of the vote. Uh, So almost basically one in six people that voted on the Republican side didn't vote for Ron Johnson, even though Ron Johnson didn't really have a serious opponent. What that tells me is that going into this November race, Mandela Barnes, had tremendous success in solidifying the Democratic Party. Uh, And Ron Johnson's got a serious problem in the Republican Party.